Well, today's video, I put in a step. Now this thread here, I made it myself because I looked around in Florida. You don't see stone threads, so I made my own concrete thread, and I'll show you that later. And I put in a coral step. Now this was all rotted in here. There was three steps, but I brought the, uh, the land up and so I'd only have one step. I always try to eliminate steps if I can. And we were going to pour it out of concrete, but then there might have been some issues with a permit. So I'm going to show you how I did it. All right, this is uh, the project over here. I got to get rid of all this, this mulch and everything. And these steps are all caved in. So what are we going to do? Not even a clue. Uh, you don't know about this stuff until you start ripping it apart to see what's under there. So we'll see once we start ripping it apart. All right, I started ripping these steps out. Everything is rotted. The guy who did them, he, uh, everything's rotted. So that's the first thing. I might do masonry steps here. Let's see what happens. I get these all out of here. And they're all rotted. This plastic stuff they put on is held up pretty good. But underneath it's all rotted. So I'm going to have to rebuild them. I might rebuild them out of masonry. We'll see what happens. There's the form if I wanted to go get a form and another one. But I don't think so. It's like I got to rebuild the whole thing. So just for the sake of progress, this is all rotted. See it? It's all rotted. That's all rotted. We're going to take this all off and replace it. But I'm going to set it up and put two steps here. I'm going to do this out of masonry. I was talking about doing that out of uh, concrete. But not, not for now. So I'm going to set it up in case I ever do concrete. And put the two steps okay, here. Okay, we're going to see where we're at here. You see this has the skirting on. But there's nothing underneath the skirting. And animals are getting under there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this all away and I'm going to put my step here. That's all gone now. And I'm going to put a little pad down here to build a block up in case uh, I want to put concrete here, which I will eventually. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Okay, I got it all formed up for my step. And don't forget, this is Florida. There's sand all over the place. And been here for I don't know how many years so it's not going anywhere and I'm gonna pour some in in there All right so we're just using this high strength concrete mix that's what I'm gonna use for my footer I'm not gonna make a big project out of it put my water into it and mix it okay that's that all mixed up so that's it we just got it in and uh, tomorrow I'll take the forms off and I'll leave some block in here and one step at a time oh well, here's where I am so far I put some blocks under there do you see it that's gonna hold that up if I ever take this off I am going to be able to do this out of concrete and now I'm going to start working on the step get my deck in first and then work on the step I'll show you how I'm doing that this is my step see that's the step that I did this is the joint and this right here is the stone I'm going to be this is the wood in the top so when I go right here with it I know exactly what my height is going to be came down here Right here from the line, I gotta make sure I got enough space right here. That's where my steps gotta go. Gotta come up to the line with my stone going right across. Make sure that when I put the stone on, I just got a little slight pitch away from the house. And I made my measurements here 11 and a quarter, and over here 11 and a quarter, and I'm ready to go. Now I'm going to start laying my stone. Now this looks like the best 
idea for a corner. So I'm going to go right there. That's where my corner is going to be. Now I'm going to work that stone into a corner. So use the flat part of the hammer like that. So I got that part. That looks close enough. Now this is sticking out. So I want to flatten that a little bit. Not too bad. Straighten that out. Flatten this out. That don't look too bad for a corner. Doesn't have to be perfect. This is still bothering me. So there, now I got my corner. So I found a stone for my end piece. And I want to show the joints a little different. Let's see what we got here. Maybe like something like that. So this got to come off. Let's see if we get that off. I could live with that. That'll be, let's say that's our next stone. Something like that. So we got to get up in here. Might have to find a little piece for in there, see? Keep moving it around until you find out what fits. It's one of the old school ways of doing things. Okay, I got to lay it out dry to the line. See the line? I have marks down here to make sure I didn't go off the line. So now I'm just going to mix them in and put them in. So now I'm just going to mix it up. I'm just using this mortar pre-blended type S. It has the sand in it already. This is Florida. It's not a big deal for Florida. And mix it up. You see? It's like Play-Doh almost. It's stiff. You don't want it soft because you're going to be laying stone on top of it. So now, usually you always start in your corner. Put your cement down. I just use a regular rubber glove. Couldn't find the good ones. That's good. I'm going to lay this one. Maybe I'll shove it down in there just for the heck of it. Pile it up here. We gotta go a little higher there because we're not gonna see the bottom. And that's good. Then we fill in with the joints and we're good. Like that. Now we're gonna start on this end. Take this out. Put the cement on. One thing about when you're working in Florida, there's no ice, there's no snow, at least the southern part anyway. See, that's good. I'm going to go over here and put this one in, like this. Go a little higher with it. Remember I told you the bottom is not going to get seen because we're going to cover it with something. So we want to hit the top. So I can live with that right there. And let's see. You can always throw the junk in the back to build it up. That's what you do. Throw the junk in the back to build it up. Like that. For coral, the, that's okay. So that'll go right there. Like this. And that's it. Let it sit there. No big deal. So now, we just continue on putting our pieces in as we go. 
No big deal. It's not rocket scientist. All it is is stonework. So the light's not that good. It's hard to see. You just shove it under there. You can live with that. Put it in with your rubber glove. That's it. Almost looks good enough the way it is there. I'll tell you what, this is moving a little bit, so let's put this one in next. That's it. The bottom is in. Just a couple at the top. something like that will work like that see coral it's not like you're working with limestone where everything's perfect you're working with coral all right we got most of it in we got to put the top piece on so we're not going to go crazy with it we're just going to finish what we're doing okay we got that basically in I'm gonna say what are you gonna put around the back here you know anything that works that looks like it's worked so you know what I'm gonna cut a bunch of these caps instead of sawing it I use my bigger hammer you know that's it good and we got some of these junk things laying around we'll use some of these so that'll go right in there. Look at that. Now on the end, uh, end, I'm just getting some concrete mix that I had left over. Filling in the holes. That's it. I'm going to let all that set up. So at the end, I'll just get the finger. Go over it again. Give yourself a little paintbrush. Brush it down. No big deal. That's going to make that all look better. I'm going to put the cap on later today. So, that's all. This is cement for Florida. Don't seem like it wants to dry quick enough. I don't know why. And we just get a bucket of water, a sponge, and you rinse the sponge out. Don't rinse the sponge out. Just go over the edges. That'll clean that up real nice. And sometimes the deeper you go with the joints, it shows more of the stone. You learn as you go in this kind of stuff. Whatever works. I get my little dolly here. Pick this up. That's my step. Okay, now I'm putting the cement down for the step. Just like this. Sounds like they're throwing trash out over there. Then we get some water. Just do the back of the stone. That's what's going to make it stick. I mean, it's not a big deal in Florida. That's what's going to make it stick. There we go. That's our stone. Now we're going to see which way it's going this way. And we've got a little pitch going this way. And this way. Got to get a level with bubbles on it. So that's basically it. I brought the grade up. So I eliminated two steps. I only had one step. As a matter of fact, I actually wanted to eliminate them all, but they didn't want that. So that's it, the step is in. Uh, I'm gonna show you on another video how I made this thread. 
And what I did was I formed it first, then I mixed the cement, and I put it into the form, and then I got it out of the form and I brought it over here and laid it. It's that simple, but that'll be another video after this video. So, I, like I said, we were talking about doing it out of concrete, but then we might have got into some permits and that, so we just kind of patched it up again, I guess you could say it that way. I brought the grade up, so I got the same distance from here to here and from here to here, and we eliminated those old wooden steps. So thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock. I'll see you next video.